right. Good early morning, people. Uh, Bruce with Targeted Wealth Creation. I've got a partial defiance uh, distributions because they are going weekly, as many of you know, on their NASDAQ 100, QQQY, their S&P 500 used to be JEPI, WTE, and the Russell 2000, IWMY. So that's a recent change effective this week. So I still need to merge my total return values, but you can sort of see what it was going into this week. So let me jump in here, not drag this out. Here is QQQY. Let's take a look at, whoops, I switched into the wrong page. So what all is going on today, you have, I did Round Hill, posted that already. Some of you saw it last evening. If you weren't up late, then you'll see it today. And then Defiance have some of their funds on the weekly basis. So I'm going over those. And then Yieldmax, I have the distribution B, except I can't yet find dips and Babo. I have uh, Mernie and JPMO and NVIDIA or NVIDI. Um, several of those, but I'm missing two, so I'm waiting for the official document. So Yomax is really late on that today. All right, so let's finish in here. So QQQY is paid 34.48. Okay, now it's hard to compare these. So the last distribution, which was a full month, paid $1.99, had a 65% yield with a, what was the price? A price of 36.55. So you can see that that price has continued down to 34.52 over the last few weeks. And so this 34.48 is a 51.94% yield. What I haven't done is roll it in here. Now, these bottom three, the SPY T, the USOI, the oil index, and QQ, these are targeted incomes. So those are going to stay monthly. So we won't have anything till the end of October for those. Um, but these will be weekly going forward now. Um, so let's take WDTE, the old JEPI, the S&P 500 weekly. So that closed at um, 42.26 and is paying 33.38, right? So a lower yield because the distribution is close to the NASDAQ, but the price is higher. So then we look at the Russell 2000 that has price very similar to QQY, and it paid substantially more, 42 cents, 62.94 yield. So the way these yields are done now, you're taking this weekly value and multiplying it by 52 and dividing it by the closing price prior to declaration day. So that's how this yield, very, very close to defiance, as you may see, you know, 52.07 or something, you know, it's so close, it's a rounding error. Now, this was the only issue I have with some of these defiance ones, and I apologize when I did these last, I totally screwed up and didn't account for the three for one split that impacted these. So I penalized the price but didn't go out and get the distribution multiplied by three times uh, because the share count would be higher. So that's all fixed here from last time, but I haven't really merged these two together. So it's going to look something like this without this weekly added in here. So let's take these first three, right, that are redone. So they have new distributions. I could add those in, but then when I compute annualized, I got to change how I do it slightly. 
but just to recap, since this has been fixed, you had a dividend, annualized dividend, because they've actually been in existence longer than a year, 377 days versus 365. So I just said, okay, good enough for a year. And so the net was 1339. This uh, JEPI or S&P 500, it's no longer called that is 1358 and the biggest yield is the IWMY based on the Russell 2000 okay so i need to i need to clean that up but i wasn't expecting uh to do defiance today because i've been waiting on the rest of yield max and i've already done roundhill so apologize for that and then these don't produce anything until the end of the month and they'll stay monthly so i'll get this all set up for you guys so everything's seamless here all right so that's what i've got for you i just did them different i could have lumped them all and did one video but then i'm still waiting on yield max all right guys that's what i've got for you on defiance pretty reasonable overall uh payout uh yield max um just to give you a heads up, it was 110 for NVIDIA. Uh, and Babo, I think, is going to be the high guy because it's up a lot. But I don't have the number from it. Uh, but there's a couple of other decent ones in there for the B group. But that, that video will get out shortly. Okay, Again, this is Bruce with Targeted Wealth Creation, not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Have a great day ahead. See ya. Bye for now.